Hey folks, Philly Boy Jay here back with another Thanksgiving holiday recipe. And my family used to always make chitlings on Thanksgiving and hog mocks. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you guys how I make mine. Here are the seasonings that we're going to be using. We're going to be using black pepper, Italian seasoning, salt, crushed red peppers, which we add towards the end and Laurie's seasoning. Let's talk about the other ingredients that you're going to need for your chitlins. You're going to need some hot sauce. We also add that towards the very end. Okay, that is optional. Minced garlic. You can use garlic powder, but I like to use minced garlic. Vinegar. Everybody put vinegar in their chitlins. I use a little bit of chicken broth. Okay, I don't just use water. I use chicken broth as well. You're going to need some butter or margarine and some flour. Okay, that's just to thicken the juice a little bit. The vegetables that we're going to be using are onions, celery, green, and red peppers. All right, and we're going to be mincing them later on. I already chopped them, but we want to create like a paste with our vegetables. So here's our chitlins, and they always say that the chitlins are hand cleaned already. They're not. They're not. And I'm going to show you guys how to clean them properly. So, your chitlins look kind of like a big ring or a like, I don't know, um, a glove or something, you know. Um, but it's like a big hole within it, you see. It's like a big hole that you can stick your hand into, see there. What you're going to do is you're going to rip it apart. And as you're ripping it apart, you're going to see where the actual chitlin separates from the, I think that's the membrane or I don't know what exactly that is. But you have to remove that part. The chitlin is thicker than the clear stuff that you have to remove from it. Okay, so remove all of that clear stuff there. Just pull it like that and separate the chitlin from that clear stuff and you're going to discard that okay you do not want to cook that part that is not healthy we have to remove that okay so the thinner part is the part that you're going to throw away and the thicker part is the actual chitlin okay and that's pretty much it it's just that simple yes it's just that simple and you're going to soak these in some salt water solution and you're going to scrub them really really well like i do all my meats you guys know on the philly boy j cooker show we like to keep things clean and fresh okay so that's what you want to do with your chitlins you're going to remove the thin part okay and just to let you know you know what part you have to get rid of because the part that you have to get rid of is thinner than the actual chitlin see the chitlin there it's a little thicker all right just like that. It's a little more right there that I'm removing. I want to remove all of that. Again, like I said, I don't know if that's membrane or what, but you want to remove that part. Okay? And you want your chitlins to look just like that. And you're going to chop your chitlins up. I only chop them once, okay? And that's just to make more chitlins. Otherwise, they'll be really, really long and big, and you don't want that. Okay? So just slice them in half. Slice all of your chitlins in half. Now here are your hog mocks, and you're just going to cut them. They are really, really tough and hard to slice with a knife. Even the sharpest knife <laughs> probably can't cut a hog mock. So what you're going to do is you're going to slice it with a scissors, like cooking scissors. Now those are not cooking scissors that I'm using, but you're going to use some cooking scissors. And all of that right there is the membrane. You're just going to scrape all of that part off but scrape that part off and chop them up into really thin shaped pieces like that there okay that's the way you want them to look just like that and you can slice them into smaller shapes if you like okay and we're going to add this to the bowl of chitlins and we're going to allow both the chitlins and hog mugs to soak in salt water solution I'm going to be adding a little salt as you can see here and we're going to scrub them really really well and just let them soak and sit in that salt water for about I say 
a good half an hour you want to let them soak okay so let them soak and as you can see there I minced my vegetables up into a paste I did that with a food processor and you're going to get some broth and you're going to stir in some flour for the full recipe visit phillyjcooking.com all the measurements and information that you need to know regarding this recipe can be found on my website okay now the reason why I add the flour is not to create a gravy but it's just so that the juice is not so thin you want the juice to kind of be a little thick okay so it just thickens the juice up a bit okay that's the only reason why I add the flour but you can actually cook it all the way down to where your flour turns into a nice thick gravy so you want to get your pot you want to place it over I'd say medium high heat you want to add your chitlins you're going to add your minced garlic and you're going to add your paste there all right then you're going to follow that up by adding your butter okay you can use butter or margarine I like to use butter then you're going to stir in your seasonings. You're going to add your apple cider vinegar. We're going to use a nice amount of that. That's our apple cider vinegar. Okay. And these chitlins are going to be good. I know a lot of people don't like chitlins, but these are really, really good. And I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you like chitlins. Okay. Don't come to the video and say, ooh, I don't like chitlins. Well, you shouldn't be watching. It ain't for you. <laughs> then we're going to add and stir in our slurry. That's our broth slurry. We're going to add that. Okay. And then you're going to follow that up by adding more liquid. We're going to add water. You're going to give that a nice stir. And we're going to let that simmer and cook. And it takes chitlins a pretty long time to cook. I always let them go for about three and a half to four hours or until the juice cooks all the way down. Okay. You're going to cover them with a lid, leaving a crack on the side so that it don't overflow because it will overflow. Trust me, it will overflow. So leave a crack on the side. And we're going to let these chitlins go. They're going to be so nice and flavorful once they're done. They're well seasoned. Just look at them. Ah, look at that. And you can see that the juice thickened up a little bit. I just don't like my juice being like water. Just so like, you know, loose. I want it to have a little thickness to it. And it's not even thick now, you know. But it gives it just a little, you know, texture. I guess you would say for lack of a better word. Okay. So those are your chitlins. You're going to add your hot sauce and then you're going to follow that up by adding your crushed red peppers I just like my chitlins to be a little spicy just a little 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 bit spiciness okay I'm going to add just a little spiciness to it um, but those two ingredients are optional you do not have to add the hot sauce or the crushed red peppers give that a nice stir and look at those chitlins and hog mugs. They are absolutely delicious. Try this recipe out, guys. You are going to really love it. That's if you are a pork eater and a chitlin lover like myself. Give it a shot. You're going to love it. Again, the full recipe is on phillyjcooking.com. Peace. Hey guys, it's PBJ, and for more of my delicious and easy to make recipes, visit my website at phillyjcooking.com. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on all my latest videos, and come join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.